It's going fine. Uh, hey kids, say hi to uh, Mr. Wilson. Hi. Hey, uh, what is it that you've got there on the table? This is a paper balloon. Really? Yep. Hmm. I made it out of paper all by myself. I thought balloons were only made of latex and mylo and things like that. Well, yeah, if you go and buy paper balloons, mm -hmm. then, well, sorry, if you buy balloons, <laughs> then yeah, they're usually made of those things. But if you want to make one yourself, all you need is some paper. Wow. Would you like to learn how to do it? I would. That sounds smashing. Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Let me, um, first of all, let me show you something. This really is like a balloon because, mm -hmm. but you can deflate it. See that? Yeah. Goes down flat. You can put it in your pocket. And then, all you have to do is reinflate it. Oh, I like that. Cool, huh? Fancy that. That's amazing. Yeah, so let's, let me show you how to make it. Now, yes. it's a little bit hard at first. Mm hmm but once you practice a few times, it becomes really easy. Well, what's worth doing is worth doing well. That's what I say. Absolutely. All right, so the first thing you're going to need is a piece of 8.5 by 11 paper. That's like the stuff I put in my printer. Yeah, it's the stuff that you use in your printer, or you probably have used it at school. Mm -hmm. I like to draw on it or color. Right. So, so just like normal paper. Right. Well, if you want to, you can even use some colored paper. Oh, if you want colored balloons, but we're going to use this this printer paper. Okay, now the first thing that we need is that we can't really use it as a rectangle. You see how it's a rectangle? Mm -hmm. See that? I do. Four sides, two yep. longer than the others. But we really need it to be a square. Ah. Oh. Okay. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to take this corner and I'm going to fold it all the way up to the top. You see that? Mm hmm. And that, and I'm going to. Crease it down here. See that? That creates a triangle. See that triangle there? Let me mm -hmm. show everybody at home. See that? Yeah. Okay. So the, the triangle helps us create a square. See this part up here, this, this rectangle? Right. There's See that? The at the leftovers. Top? That's the part we need to get off to make a, a square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn it over and I'm going to fold that part down so it matches the edge of the triangle we just created. Okay. See that? Yes. It's like a Robin Hood's hat. Everybody see that at home? Great. Okay. So we're going to open up our, our triangle. And now you can see that it's a square. It's a square indeed. Okay. Does everybody see that at home? We have a square. Now we still need to get this piece off, this piece up here that we folded down. Right. But now we know where, to, where it needs to be broken off. Now watch this. I'm going to show you how you can get that off without using any scissors. Really? Yep. Now, scissors are dangerous, right? They can be, yes. you, you got to be careful with them. But you don't need any scissors to get this off. Now that you have a crease, if you use your fingernails right along the edge to make sure it's a nice, tight crease in the paper. For those of us who have fingernails. Right. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't. Well, you'll have to get somebody to help you. All right. All right. So, here's the trick. You actually lick with your tongue you got a tongue, right? Uh, right there. You use your tongue right along the edge that you just folded, mm -hmm. and the saliva softens up just that part of the paper. Watch. Mm. Now, you want to be careful, because you don't want to give yourself a paper cut on your tongue. Oh, that sounds miserable. <laughs> yes. All right. So now, that line that we've created, now the, it's a lot softer. Mm -hmm. And you can actually start ripping right along that. And you see how easy oh. that just rips? <laughs> Fancy that, folks. And there you've got a straight line without any scissors. You heard it here first, folks. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? So I'm going to put aside this piece that we don't need. We can use that later. We'll save that for later. All right. Now we have a square. Mm -hmm. Now, in order to turn this square into a paper balloon, we need to create a few more folds in it. All right. 
So we already have a fold from when we first folded it across this way. Right. Now we need another fold in the opposite direction to create an X. Oh, okay. X marks the spot right. on the balloon. So I'm going to go ahead and fold that corner up into the other opposite corner. Fold it down tight. And then, mm. so we have a triangle, another triangle. But this time I'm going to reopen it so you can see the X. Now there's a, a folded X. See oh, that? yes. Yes, indeed. Okay, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Pretty easy so far, I'm right? I'm following so far. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what we want to do is we need an extra line right across the middle of the X. Ooh. So that's just easy because we're just going to fold it in half. Oh, yeah. Right. See that? That doesn't look hard so far. Nope. And when you fold it in half, the X point is going to be right at the edge. So there you go. So now you have kind of a, a funny looking star. Oh, yeah. See that? Okay. So now that we've got our main folds, this is the first tricky part. All hmm. right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, these folds that we've made, I'm going to make them, I'm going to fold them backwards oh, that from how they were already folded on both sides at the same time. Basically, I'm going to take these parts and I'm going to push them down to the bottom. Fold them inwards. Inwards, yep. And do the same thing at the top. Now, sometimes you have to push it down a little bit more. But when you're done, you'll have a smaller triangle. Let me hold it up here. See that? Oh, that would make a jolly good hat. Well, it's the start of a hat, yeah. But see that? So you really have four, four folds. And there's your smaller triangle. Mm -hmm. All right, so that was the first hard part. The next part is easier, okay? We're going to see we have these four corners that we've created. Yes. We're going to take each one of them, and we're going to move it, and we're going to point it up at the top. We're going to fold it right up so it matches its own corner at the top. You see that? Mm. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Let's do the same thing with this one. Okay. See, that kind of creates a diamond shape. Yeah, I see that. Yep. Now we're going to turn it over, turn it all the way over, and do the same thing with the remaining two So corners. it's not as hard the second time because it's sort of the same thing. Right. You're just following the same pattern. Okay. So now we have a tinier square than we started with. Oh, yes. You think, well, how does that help us? I don't know. It does, because even though it looks like a square, it's actually a lot fancier. See, look at all these folds that it has in it. See that? Oh, yeah. Okay. I see that now. So now that we have our tinier square, here comes another slightly tricky part. All right. We're going to take this corner, each of these... Okay, this is the corner that we just finished folding right. up there. So we're going to come down to the next adjacent corner, and mm -hmm. we're going to fold it inward so that it touches the middle line. See that? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent. We're going to do that same thing again to all four sides. So look, we're going to turn it around, and we're going to fold it right there. See how they meet? Their little points meet in the, right there oh, in the middle? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, do the same thing. We're going to turn it over, and do the same thing on this side. So we're going to take this corner, and we're going to fold it inwards so it touches there. Well, right in the middle. Got line. it? Mm-hmm. Because keep going. And take this other corner. So the last one, we're going to do the exact same thing. And here's, here's how you can tell if you've done it right. Kind of looks a little bit like a jewel shape, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, it kind of does. Okay. But you know you did it right if you have four little pockets. Pockets? See, I want you to look right down here. See how that separates right there? Oh, it is a pocket. See the pocket? Isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to take this corner up here, mm -hmm. and we're going to fold it, in, and we're going to bend it down and stick it right down in that pocket like that. Do you see me do that? Oh, yeah. See it's that? It's right down there. So it's right down in the pocket. Okay. And we're going to do the exact same thing with the other pockets, because you see there are pockets on the other side, too. Oh, yes. And there. So we're going to take that corner and bend it down over into its pocket. See how that looks? Oh, yeah. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and fold these other, other corners down into their pockets, too, on the other side. And so your paper balloon is done. So, are you going to blow it up? Yes, I'll inflate it. Let me... Uh... I do love to see things blown up. <laughs> well, let me show you how you inflate your paper balloon, okay? Now, you'll notice that there are two corners mm -hmm. to what you created. This one is solid. No hole. Yes. On the other side, that's opposite of the pockets we had, mm -hmm. there is a little hole. Do you see oh, that? I do. It's a little tiny hole in that. So, the easiest way to inflate it is to hold it kind of like an X. 
See yeah, that? Like I an do. X. When you look at it, it looks like an X. You put your lips against the hole and you blow. And there you go. A By paper balloon. Golly, he's done it again. Cool, huh? That's very cool. I love that. And you can use them for all kinds of things. You can play games where you play catch with each other. Oops. You could use it for emergency mayonnaise storage. Um, no, I don't think it would work for emergency mayonnaise storage because... Uh, the mayonnaise would probably soak through. Oh, what about waxed paper? Hmm. You could try it. I think I will. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you have fun making paper balloons. And remember, if it doesn't work exactly right the first time, don't give up. No, maybe you, you should rewind and watch this episode again. A yeah. A couple of times. You could watch it a few times. You can rewind, watch us do it, and d follow along until you get it right. So... Thanks for coming over, Ollie. Oh, thank you. Hey, kids, say hey, say thank you to Mr. Wilson. Oh, you guys are welcome. Come by anytime. Goodbye, kids. All right, we'll see you, Ollie. Bye, Mr. Wilson. Bye, kids. Have a great day. Thank you for joining us on Rusty and Ollie's Fun Facts and Follies today. I hope you liked it. If you did, you should check us out on the web at rustyandollie.com. You can also join us on websites like Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Send us your questions, your comments, and your ideas by emailing funstuff at rustyandolly.com. See you soon!